हेलो दिस इज सूरज शुक्ला एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस यू अबाउट न्यू रैलिक बट फर्स्ट लेट मी टेल यू वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वॉट इज ए पी एम वॉट आर सम ए पी एम टूल्स हाउ न्यू रैलिक वर्कस फीचर्स ऑफ न्यू रैलिक एंड देन आई विल हैव अ स्मॉल डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ गेटिंग स्टार्टेड विथ न्यू रैलिक नो Uh, what is application performance monitoring or APM? Uh, now suppose you create an application and after testing you want to deploy it in real world, uh, but you don't know how your application is performing in real world. Like, uh, is there any errors arising, or uh, is your application crashing, or what is user experience, or, or what resources are consumed by your application and uh, there are many more things that you want to know about your application in running in real world at real time means uh, uh, suppose is there any user who is experiencing slow transaction you want to know it at real time not when user report it so um, that's where apm comes to play now uh, talking about today's application environment um, there are millions of transactions uh, going on uh, uh, and uh, each transaction moves through multiple servers and uh, it is a complete black box means even though you know what the error is uh, finding where error occurred is a difficult job and uh, and you have to spend you may have to spend a lot of time but with a good apm you can know what are error rates how fast your application feels to user what level of traffic traffic a function of your application is experiencing uh, you can also know performance of individual transactions and overall performance and health of your application uh, all these things you can know through apm application performance monitoring tool or uh, you can say uh, there are many more things you can know uh, so uh, let us take a look about the different AP, uh, application performance monitoring tools uh, so there are many but i have listed a few like app dynamics techify retrace dynatrace and new relic is uh, definitely one of them now uh, I am going to discuss how New Relic works. So uh, basically, for New Relic, uh, you need a language agent, uh, which is provided by New Relic uh, by default. So uh, now uh, it works with uh, relies on uh, language agent. Uh, so what you have to do, you have an application running. You take um, a new a New Relic language agent. you integrate it with your application which is a uh, very easy job means uh, we you can do it with an ease uh, it does not need any expertise level of uh, knowledge uh, it uh, everything new relic does for you now uh, what this application does uh, it drills down your code and calculates the average amount of time errors, errors rising due to code and once per minute it sends the data to new relic cloud and uh, new relic uh, uh, there organizes your data and so you to your browser or uh, your mobile applications now uh, new relic also has a lightweight javascript agent uh, that can be sent to end users uh, end user browsers it can measure the actual time it takes for a page to render or you can say it can monitor front end performance constantly now uh, talking about new relic uh, language agents uh, they are go go agent java agent dot net agent node js agent php agent python agent ruby agent uh, they are different but i am going to use php agent to explain you uh, how to get started with new relic but before that let us take a look at uh, uh, different levels of monitoring that new relic provides it has application monitoring used for uh, like code level monitoring it uh, uh, dig into your code and uh, uh, find errors and different things uh, their second is server monitoring uh, server monitoring is a kind of uh, like uh, uh, 
uh, finding your uh, how much disk space ram and cpu your application uses and then the third one is browser monitoring browser monitoring i have already mentioned that it has a lightweight javascript uh, agent which it integrates uh, to end user browsers uh, and uh, you can know about the uh, how much delay your page makes and uh, front end you can manage front end performance uh, using that uh, the, the fourth one is mobile monitoring means if you have a mobile application new relic has uh, a language isn't for that uh, uh, not language uh, an application for that through use which you can monitor your mobile application and the last one is availability monitoring uh, it's not uh, about application performance monitoring but uh, yeah it has a geographical uh, distributed network of pingers uh, and uh, new relic can visit a url that you specify and let you know if that url is available or not when uh, you visit new relic website you can see uh, there are different uh, languages in PHP, Java, .NET, Python, Node.js, Go, Ruby, etc. So uh, I am going to uh, launch uh, a PHP website on my uh, EC2 instance of Amazon and I am going to integrate the PHP uh, isn't PHP language isn't with that uh, uh, server and uh, you can see uh, different things like uh, transaction response time and error rates of uh, using new relic uh, new relic in your browser so uh, i am going to uh, launch ac oh, i have already launched ac2 instance so uh, now uh, i am going to log in in it using putty I'm going to log in, in it using putty ec2 user that's name provided by uh, AWS so um, now I have uh, a key for that no. uh, so I'm logging so uh, first of all I'm going to change to root user Okay, done. Uh, now first I am going to install the server. Yum install httpd. Okay. Uh, next I am going to install php. Okay, done. Uh, next I am going to create a php page. Yum. Sorry. Uh, cd where HTML no. uh, here we create uh, my first page index.php uh, now this is the page I think I have already created so uh, what I'm going to do I'm just save it just save it and now uh, I'm going to check whether it's working or not uh, sorry let me start my httpd server first service httpd restart restart so it's restarted now uh, I am going to check whether it's working or not. Yeah, it's working. Now I will go down and you will not see any new relic tag uh, heading over here. Uh, but uh, let me install new relic agent over here so what I will do I will go to the instructions uh, now first I have to configure uh, 
RPM done next I have to install new relic PHP languages and this is it and after that uh, I have to set the license key for it so I am going to set it mm. so uh, whenever you log in to uh, whenever you sign up you will get a new license key from new relic you have to just copy and paste it here now so license key you are done uh, now uh, you can see that new relic is now installed on your system congratulations now I am going to again restart uh, my HTTP server okay done now uh, I am going to refresh this page and uh, yeah you can see new relic here so now means it is integrated and uh, 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 if you want to see the logs click here uh, or listen to my for my application it will take a few minutes before uh, it will start displaying the data uh, but uh, I have already uh, launched a, PA, uh, a server and uh, launched a website in another IP address and so I'm going to show you that uh, uh, let me show you that so here is my PHP application now uh, you can see the data over here like web transaction time how much transit time each transaction takes over here are very less transactions uh, because uh, I have only uh, uh, there here are very few transactions. Now uh, next is Abdex score. What is Abdex score? Is uh, it's overall health to measure overall health. Uh, how is your application performing? Uh, there is more of it, but I will explain it at later stage. Now throughput, and here you can see your error rate. This is just the few uh, first overview page of uh, uh, your app. There are more insights uh, to it like uh, there you can do more things in transaction abdex score throughput uh, you can change settings and you can set alerts uh, you can uh, set alerts for a particular transaction there are different things uh, how to integrate with with your browser mobile application uh, so uh, I will explain everything at a later stage for now uh, we know how to integrate uh, language isn't of a new relic with our application and uh, so you can uh, do it and that's all thank you